Hello everyone, welcome to the ninth developer live stream for Sunnyside. Uh, my name is Siavash, aka Rainy, and uh, to the right of me is Sydney, aka Fam. We are the developers for Sunnyside, and we are very happy to have you today with us on this uh, beautiful spring Sunday. Uh, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, uh, giving us a portion of your day to to hang out with us. Um, as always, let us know if there's any audio issues. Visual stuff, usually we got that covered because we can see it, but audio, a bit more difficult because we can't hear it ourselves. So, yeah. Sid, do you want to give us an audio check as well? Yeah, sure. Hi. Hi. I'm hearing some reverb, but I don't know if that's from our weird setup or something else. Mm. Your collab cam is disabled. Let me double check. Yeah. <clears throat> it could also be just that you have another tab open or something, or two tabs open. That has happened in the past. It's usually what it is, isn't it? Mm. It sounds good now, though. Okay. But uh, how do we sound? Everybody, everybody good? Audio's good? Well, awesome, there, awesome. But... <clears throat> I think it's because you're streaming Streamlabs to me. Well, mute it, then. Probably. Yeah, I think you're right. That. <clears throat> Love the sunny. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, oh, I'm no, hanging out at the at the docks. Carl's just passed around, passed by a minute ago. Said hi to him. Um, yeah, but it's funny because I can also just peel back the reality at any point if I want. Which I think is hilarious because it looks just so funny to me. <laughs> Messy cables. No. <laughs> okay awesome well do let us know if at any point it gets weird or sounds quiet or anything of that nature we're always figuring out our stuff i mean come on even the most pros yeah humble <laughs> audio so um but yeah hi uh thank you for joining us today today this one <clears throat> this stream is uh is an interesting one because this is the one where for the first time in a very long time there is really not much else kind of hidden or secret you know to not be able to talk about <laughs> mainly the release date is out uh which yep. we are gonna just replay the trailer just one more time to freshen up everybody's memory in case on you it. haven't seen it a hundred times in case times you already. haven't seen it a million times sorry about that but yeah with the release date being out i don't really have a lot to you know leak anymore so i guess we're at least a couple, safe. A couple story <clears throat> points still that i might need to safeguard mm. but perhaps <laughs> but but uh, yeah it's it's funny because uh, we kind of wanted today to be like you know hype like mm. we finally announced stuff and we got a thing and we got we're doing all the but rainy and i are both so tired today <laughs> that we're just like today's gonna be a chill day and we're just gonna uh chill and play sunny side and and chat mm. with you guys and also i figured the chat out See it on the right Yay! side. If anybody has problems with SLOBS chat not working, just use the browser source. Don't use the chat widget. It doesn't yeah. work. Um, but doesn't yeah, work. Um, it's it's exciting uh, to finally have the release date out. And there was there were a few times that we changed it. Uh, I mean, really, the two times that I can think of is one when I got sick, and that threw yeah. a wrench in everything, and we had to change release date. And the other time. Is the Kickstarter release really date that inevitably got changed too? Yeah. I was actually kind of thinking, answering the question to myself earlier when I was shaping, when I was trimming my beard. And um, I kept coming back to the answer that, you know, Sunnyside started as a means for me to pay rent and live. Um, but then once I saw the traction that it got, I was like, it doesn't have to be the tiny game uh, to just get our studio off the ground anymore. It can be. You know, something that can get our name uh, to become a household name in the genre. And that's pretty much when our scope kind of increased. And then we got ourselves into the mess that we do now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is but a great way of phrasing it. Another thing that I wanted to say is that the sunny side that would have come out, because we could have probably done it. The scope would have been tiny in comparison. Yeah, it would have been boring. It would have been just I, another game. It wouldn't have been a game that I was that would have been proud of. It was no. just a game that I had to put out there as a means to try to start a game uh, studio. Yeah. But now it's actually something I'm really proud of. And I think it's something that can really um, hopefully become pretty prominent in the genre. 
And thank you, everybody, for all the love and attention you all have been giving the uh, the trailer, the release date, um, the demo, especially. Uh, we had a nice surge of wishlist numbers going through, quite massive, actually, the past few yeah. days. And besides putting a trailer out and doing a press release, we haven't really done much around that. So mostly it's yeah. just been you guys sharing stuff around it. To all the people out there who stream the game, thank you. It's great. You can all, almost always be sure that we are lurking. Um, because as Shh, I don't tell him, <laughs> I'm on Twitch 24 7 just going on the side category there. reloading, yeah. yeah. Um, just to watch everybody play it, and and very importantly, we're gonna probably come back to this again because we're just gonna. Uh, I apologize in advance for how many times we're going to shove Sparky plushie in your face, but yep. if you don't know about it, <clears throat> everybody, look, let's be real, let's let's be real for a second. We have been working on this plushie for a year now, more than a year now. We have been planning it for more than a year, right? I was dying to... You guys have no idea. I was dying not to say anything about it because I saw so many comments coming through in multiple streams on Discord. People say, oh, plushie would be great. Oh, why don't you guys do uh, Sunnyside merch? We would buy Sunny Sunnyside merch right there. Here, here it is. So there you go. That's hopefully the first of many. But this is the one that we have right now, and you can, you too, can be the owner of a Sparky plushie by going to Makeship and uh, searching for Sparky. I think the link is actually in our Discord, and if you he, want, it's just, just makeship.com slash products. Slash he's getting excited. Sparky. We'll post the link when we, we'll post we link. actually get around talking about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> before we get to that, because Rainy's very excited, so I need to I'm let all him over go the place. talk about the things So that please categorize things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give us a bit um, of an organization. So yeah, so just to, we usually like to start the streams with like rainy game specific stuff, and then we move on to like what game we're working on. So the rainy games business side—that's always me. So we're gonna talk about that for a minute. Um, so the Q and A channel, uh, question and answer channel, is up and running on Discord. So if you have a question, something you want us to chat about, and you put it in the chat, and we don't see it because it happens sometimes it scrolls or we miss it. Um, that Discord channel is there for you to put your questions and stuff in, and I've got it up, so we'll be you know, looking at it occasionally and whatnot. Um, so that's up. Yay. Um, we also, it's, I mean, it's kind of the same thing it's been um, with in terms of rainy games. We're really just trying to get Sunnyside out. Um, we're really focused on porting right now, which mm -hmm. is... <clears throat> God, such a pain. It's way harder than we thought it was going to be. If you notice, we actually um, missed our previous um, yeah, podcast. podcast. And we're probably going to be missing it this week as well. Uh, just yeah. because of how busy we've been. Uh, I mean, with the release date stuff ramping up, we've been very busy doing work on that. Yeah. Reporting has been taking we've been like of our time. We've been marketing and porting and we're still <coughs> bug fixing. And it's Localization yeah, a lot happening too. all at once. Yeah. Localization has been a pain. Yeah, so... Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Rainy Games does have, uh, stuff on all of the music streaming platforms. So Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, Pandora, I think Pandora, um, anywhere yeah. you listen to music, um, you can find us now. So, um, we haven't added any new songs yet. We will, we probably won't add any more new ones until we do the whole OST. Um, but we've got a couple on there you can go listen to, including our personal favorite, Watch That Garden Grow, which is... Watch this garden grow. Watch it's this, this garden. garden, not that one. Watch, watch this garden. Watch that garden. <laughs> watch that garden grow. Just watch um, that <laughs> which is like our. It's a matter of perspective. Ti title song, I guess. Um, and we're all super proud of it. So if you haven't listened to it yet, you can watch the music video on here on YouTube. You can go listen to it on any streaming service. I'm a Spotify mm. kid myself, but you know. But yeah, it is on streaming platforms. Watch this garden grow and our title yep. themes. And as Sydney said, we'll be adding the rest of the OST um once eventually yeah probably eventually. we still don't know if we're gonna do it like right before release or after release but sometime really around release. Yet, yeah. yeah yeah it's gonna be then um waiting for gay plushie we, that's a good idea a gay plushie would be very idea. cute sorry um <laughs> we still have t-shirts for sale so oh, yeah. if you wanna if you want an og rg t-shirt um here is the link for that <laughs> um, and then uh we still I have, have one. our patreon it's in the going wash, by the way yeah i have i have one and then i have like all these generic fox t-shirts <laughs> um and then the only other thing is that we are still doing patreon i again i i probably say it way too much 
can't express enough how much we appreciate everybody who backs us and follows us on Patreon. Um, we're still doing, we wanted to ramp up the podcasts for the Patreon people. So we're trying to do more of those. Um, we're also trying to do more of the other rewards and stuff. So if you're not familiar with the Patreon, definitely check it out. I think there's a link in the description, but I'll put another one up in here just in case you're interested. Um, we do post, we, well, I'm trying to think, we were posting a lot more behind the scenes stuff, but we kind of ran out of that once we like moved over to porting. So now it's mostly like pictures of our cats and we do, uh, we just put out another, um, like batch of desktop wallpapers for our Patreon people. So we do have pretty big plans for Patreon right we now. We do, yeah. Because once we are, um, once Sunnyside is out, obviously we are going to then shift gears into kind of a support plan of just supporting Sunnyside, releasing updates for it and DLCs and all that stuff. And then um, a portion of our work is going to go through our future titles. So the plan is to actually give people on Patreon early access to most of our in-work titles, maybe yeah. prototypes, maybe little tiny tools and toys that we even make. Yeah. So we do have big plans for Patreon. It's yeah. not up at the moment, but we do think about you guys. Uh, but yeah, but empty. the supporting it now is going to help us get there faster, yeah, yeah. honestly. So we really appreciate everybody who's giving money in good faith and kind of trusting that we really are going to deliver. Because I think we've kind of proven that we can deliver, especially with the demo and stuff. So hopefully there's some, some goodwill <laughs> created yeah, I mean, over there. We were, okay, uh, we're going to... I, I have so much I want to talk about the release date, but I think we need to get the trailer out. Also, hi, Steph. Thank you so much for that stream. I had uh, I watched it like twice all the way through and it was an absolute blast to watch you stream. So that, that was great. Um, but I have so much I want to talk about the, the release date. So let us all have a quick look the at trailer. the trailer again and then we'll come back and go through uh, our little He's very excited. behind the scenes on how this trailer came together and release date and stuff. We are super proud of this trailer, dude. Very. All right. good See you guys in a second. Welcome to Sunnyside. An aging post town nestled in the heart of the Japanese countryside. Hmm. The day is young, and there's so much for you to do in bringing harmony to your new community. What will today bring? Friendships forged and seeds sown, life in Sunnyside feels that little bit sweeter. What will you do tomorrow? So good. It is. It, the music is a banger. <laughs> yeah. The music's so, a banger. In case you didn't know, that is the uh, autumn or fall theme for uh, for the game. And the intro that yeah. you guys also listened to at the start of the stream, since this is YouTube, you can't actually go back, um, is the night version of the same theme, yep. which I actually like more because it sounds more lo fi. We had. Um, See, I, I'm total opposite. I you, like. You like? Yeah. Like, well, here's more. the thing. I'm. 
Look, I'm the guy who brought the saxophone into our OSD, okay? But I still like the lo fis more. <laughs> I feel like there's a couple songs I brought the saxophone in. Well, initially. If I but remember yeah, correctly. You're right, yes. The uh, winter theme was and your I idea to get saxophone in there. I actually think this one was too, if I, don't I remember, remember right. The, the wind, I think the it was. One maybe, yeah. Yeah. But we're both we're both huge fans of saxophone and just kind of jazzy tracks. I think that's what we yeah. listen to a lot when we're just working, like the whole kind yeah. of cafe vibes. Yeah. Um, but jazzy uh, cafe vibes. But I like the Lo-Fi one more. I obviously going through every single video ever made f about Sunnyside on YouTube. Uh, the one thing that I noticed people mentioned a lot is that they said that they like the Lo-Fi sound of some of the tracks. So yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's coming through. Yeah. And it's transiting well. So um about the release date um yeah hang on i need to put the music on because it sounds very quiet without it oh my, my wait ADHD no just hold on like wait that. no wait no play this music what are you what are you gonna play what am i playing i got the game playing oh right i guess yeah i guess yeah there we go yes show us the plushie up close yeah <laughs> my he's, favorite he's thing is funny. this yeah you can you can do <laughs> you can do a lot with the hands you can pose them quite a lot i don't think they're pretty floppy right they don't have any they're sort very of floppy yeah i just want somebody to hang him from a ceiling or something that would be pretty funny yeah, no, not like that. It's like he hung himself or something. I also really love that he has. Oh. <laughs> that is very cute. Yeah. So Sid, tails. when did this what? arrive at your hands? Um. Roughly. A year ago? Year and a half ago? I'd have to look at my phone and when I took pictures of it. I really don't remember. <laughs> I'm just trying it's to. So I've had this sitting on my desk. For almost every single live stream that we've done, mm -hmm. he's been sitting underneath my monitor. You guys just haven't seen him, but he's he's been here. And I'm the sure you'd be time. asking this question. So before you ask it in the chat, I'm going to answer it already. Yes, I was going to have one, but Royal Mail lost it. So yeah. um, when uh, when Makeship designed it for us and we approved it and everything, they sent us two Sparkies. The samples. Yeah. Uh, and funny enough. Um, they were kind of shipping from the UK. I'm in the UK, and it got lost. Yeah. And Sydney, um, all the way over on the other side of the pond, got it. So <laughs> I am sparkyless, but I will probably buy one myself. I, I guess they give. I think they give some to the we're, team we're with discount one. or yeah. something. I yeah. Don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been observing everything. He has been there all this time. It's kind of like the dates in the game, isn't it? Where he's always yep. there watching, he's but you don't know. There. <laughs> Stealth Sparky, yeah. He's very cute. He's he's super cute. I so love yeah, him. feel free to grab one yourself. Um, we um, we were pretty scared putting up the makeshift thing because it's a campaign. It needs to succeed for it to even happen. So we were worried that it might not reach its target. Um. We currently have, I think, 10% of it uh, fulfilled. So if you want to, if you haven't got one and you want to support us uh, and support the Sparky Plushie happening, uh, feel free to share it with uh, with a friend that you think might like it or on social media or anywhere else. And, yeah. um, <clears throat> but I like, personally... I'll have my Sparky forever. But the downside is if we don't get 200 people to order him, nobody else will ever get one. Nobody else will ever get a Sparky Plushie, true. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Everybody needs to order a Sparky plushie if you guys want a Sparky plushie. Yes, do help us. And I'm pretty positive oh. we're going to reach it because Farming Fest is coming up while the campaign is still yeah, up, I we're think. excited about it. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, the release date. So um, the release date we had um, thought about was around the end of May, but it was rough, like a, just a rough end of May for a few months now so um again when you are guys asked in discord that like hey do you have a release date again i was really controlling myself not to say around may or end of may because we had established that it was going to be sometime at the end of, end of may um and then <clears throat> and then through some complicated things with consoles we realized that console will have to be delayed 
And at first, the thought was that we might have to delay the whole thing so that we can get console and PC out at the same time. Uh, but we said, no, there's no reason to, you know, punish PC players just because console has its complications. Uh, so that's why we decided to separate the dates. And I think we're much happier with that because it allows us to get the games to you guys' hand as soon as possible. And 24th of May is a date that I'm very happy with and just so excited to get everybody actually playing the full version of the game because the demo has... It's just this is the interesting thing about the demo. It covers a lot of the systems in the game, but so little of the content because you don't really get a lot of the stories of the characters. You don't go to any of the further cave levels. So there's still so much to figure out while you um while the demo still gives you a taste of most of the systems in the game do you want to add anything to the release date thing no <laughs> no nope. don't forget to like the stream yes thank you please do that'll help that'll help promote it <laughs> i think um we could i could switch the camera to the gameplay so that you can play okay. while we talk about the rest of the stuff yeah. The I think the only thing I'll say about porting and the thing that I have to reiterate a lot um, is uh, even though Rainy says we, he doesn't mean we as in Rainy Games. He means we as in Rainy Games and our publisher Merge working together. When it comes to porting and actually putting out the game for sale, we get like almost zero say mm. in any of that process. So... Um, the decision to port to PS5, to port to Xbox, to not port to Switch, whether or not we're going to be Steam Deck certified, whether or not we're going to be able to, you know, post it through GeForce, whether or not... And all of that is not up to us. We don't get any say in that. that is we can obviously recommend it or say that yeah, we want I to mean, do it, but... We'll push for as much stuff as benefits you guys as possible. But the reality of it is, it's not up to us. So if there's stuff that you want to know about that process, you have to ask them. Because we can't even really talk about it. So yeah. we'll tell you guys as much as we can, but there's really a limit to, to what we're allowed yeah. to say. And really, the so. answers that we can give are really all from the technical side of things. Because that's where yeah. we have the full control over the game. And for example, you say, oh, Steam Deck. What I can answer you with certainty is that we are going to continue to optimize the game and yeah. we could potentially put a, uh, we, <laughs> I don't think we're going to actually call it this, but we dubbed a potato mode to add to the graphic settings that just sets everything to low, but maybe yeah, we can we have a deck mode, <laughs> you know, we don't want to, we don't want to make Steam uh, upset or Valve upset, but, uh, but we have been discussing doing things and that's as much as we can do. The actual certification, um, would be up to. Our, our it's all merged people. yeah yeah so <clears throat> that's why if you guys see us not answering those types of questions that's why is mm. because i don't have an answer um the best i can give you is what we've always said is we'll do our best we're gonna keep trying we're gonna always try to put you guys first we're gonna root for mm -hmm. whatever's best for the gamers but um at the end of the day it's up to the publisher that's just that's the business side of it so yeah. Um, that's, it's like, there's so many positives having a publisher, but the downside is you are not the only one making decisions. So, uh, and that's just part of it. And yeah. if you want to hear more about the ins and outs of game dev, go check out the developers and podcasts on the same channel. As yeah. This. <laughs> like we talk a lot about, <laughs> yeah, we've talked a lot on the podcast about what it's like to work with publishers, how to get publishers, how to figure out funding. So if, even if you're not looking at making a game if you're interested in what the process is and how it works um we're trying to be as transparent about it as we can and let you guys know that you know we say that game dev is hard and you hear developers saying all the time that game development is hard but that doesn't really mean anything to, to y'all unless we explain here's why it's hard here's the here's the difficult stuff here's you know one of our first podcasts we looked at i think it was redfall which it you was, know yeah. critically was a terrible game um and but we talked about like okay but why was it bad not why do players think it's bad but what could have happened on the back end mm. we're not just going to dunk on the games that are happened. not critically yeah. doing well we're actually going to try to delve deeper into it yeah. yeah and for for and so i wouldn't say we're disappointed with our publisher I, I wouldn't say that at all um 
there is We're learning there's how just it a works. reality yeah there's a reality to the business side of video games that i i think a lot of gamers just don't understand it's not as simple as we make it we put it out people play it like it's just there's so much that goes into it. We meet with our publisher two to three times a week. Yeah. Talking about the development, talking about releases, talking about like it's so a it's it's still a very process. yeah back and forth kind of collaborative process. But mainly what we mean by the whole decision side of things is that at the end of the day, there's a lot of business related yeah things that go into making these decisions yeah. too so we could sit down with our producer and our marketing people and come up with the amazing plan of releasing to every single console yeah. that has ever come out but then it actually goes out to people who actually have to make those decisions kind of higher up and then yeah it cannot go through so and you really have you know it's one thing when we have a tiny studio to worry about but when you have you know a publisher a company who has you know I think our our publisher has what maybe a hundred ish people working for them, less than that, maybe eighty. I think so, yeah. Something like that, and then they're owned by a larger corporation who's publicly traded. So like the business side of it is is so risky mm. um, that we kind of have to default to their expertise, and yeah. you know that's why we that's why we decided to you know have them do the publishing process. So, mm. and we are it's, funded um, by our publisher as well, so. Yeah, they funded that. the whole project. So, the, well, eighty percent of the project. So yeah, there's yeah, some the there's there's a lot of positives. There's also just some downside realities that I think honestly every indie studio deals with. So, but I will of us say get better situations than others. But I will say, Merge has been uh, very uh, very much a delight to work with. We had yeah a few times where awesome people. Yeah, very awesome people. That we work with on a daily basis and there were a few times where things gone really south on sunnyside's front like me getting sick and they had all the reasons to drop us but they kept kind of supporting yeah. us through that time so we're really yeah. thankful to that and again i like to remind everybody that this is the first game that we are making so we are very new to this this we've never done this before this is the first time <laughs> so um everything considered I'm, I'm still i still consider us very lucky to have a publisher such as merge um and uh, yeah very excited to release our first game under them we should just replace my face with sparky <laughs> just the sparky mask but uh, there's another thing i wanted to say is that um rainy games does have full creative um yeah control over sunny side yeah so you don't have to worry about any business decision influencing the creative side of the game not without our input anyway what are you doing? Is there anything <laughs> we would like other game devs and other games to learn from you? Oh my god, so much. That's oh yeah, we made a we whole the series together. of podcasts about it. It's literally, so yeah, much. it's literally the whole point. <laughs> um, because there's there's a lot that indie devs just don't understand when they get into it. I think a lot of the the um, the blank of space of the big void of unknown things mm. for most indie devs is business. I mean, they can kind of figure out the marketing side because it's like, oh, just showing off the stuff that you've been doing. But the business stuff is hard. The contracts, the legal stuff, the Very. negotiating, the making sure you look out for yourself and you don't get screwed over by publishers who aren't as good as Merge. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of risks and stuff. And I think a lot of indie developers, frankly, get screwed because they just don't know. Um, and so that's what we want to kind of help with the podcast as much as we can, which is, you know, make sure that they can learn from our mistakes or learn from the things that we did right that ended up working out really well and stuff. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'd say there's a lot of stuff that we want to teach people. I'm reading other comments. Yes, yeah, Sam. Um, I would be interested to know debut, if there's snowing. This is a banger. Aww. Thank you. There is snowing. There is snowing, yeah. but it's actually never um, an option for the main menu to like mm. be snowing. Uh, but you oh, know, why not? Uh, I, I, yeah, I, need, I need to I need to hook it up, but I'm gonna put it Fix at a very low shit. percentage and higher <laughs> the percentage during winter. So there you go. Now you yeah, know how yeah, it works. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
so excited. Oh, mods. Yeah, I'm I'm nervous about the mods thing. But I'm that's excited. A, that's a me thing. I'm very excited. I hope that we're going to try... I need to do some research on how it works and see how much we yeah. can help people uh, to kind of start out with mods. But I can say, at least from a super baseline level, Sunnyside is an Unreal 4 game and you can probably do as much as other people can do to Unreal games in terms of modding. Like, model swapping and stuff like that, you can probably do from, from the start, even without us giving you any access to anything, so go for it. If you want to turn everybody into Gozu and Mezu in the world, you have at it. If you want to change everyone to, I don't know, a Starian, go for it. <laughs> If you want to rip Cat out of the game and put him in Guitar Hero, go for it. <laughs> Mod scares me, so I'm trying to not think about it. <laughs> I'm a, uh, for I'm me, a it's like, boy, so I love it. Yeah, for me, it's like we spent so much time and care to make everything in the game like just perfectly right. So to have somebody else come in and change it. Yeah, but it's about making it your own. Twiggly. I know. I, I'm not saying it's bad, and I will support it. It just makes me <laughs> squiggly on the inside. I don't um, there was one other thing that I wanted to say that I forgot. Right. No, um, see, now we're talking. Mod Baldur's Gate to have Gabe. That's a mod I can get behind. <laughs> Again, if you want to okay if you want to rip the models out of the game and put them in other games, go for it. Why not? <laughs> um, Anso just asked. I haven't seen a lot of Japanese attention in the game by the community. Actually. Um, there's been a ton. It's just not really in our Discord. Um, yeah. but we got picked up by Automaton, and we actually went viral in Japan. Um, so, yeah, we've got- there's- it's there. Trust yeah. me, it's there. When uh, we first released a, a demo, and we did not expect this at all, but when we first released a demo, Automaton, and there was one more website that is pretty big in Japan, uh, covered us. And we had- we got tons and tons of tweets. Yeah and just articles and stuff and uh, also lots of Japanese streams which was very yeah. stressful to watch because I couldn't understand yeah, what they were saying. Yeah, we didn't know what they were saying. Um, um, but our yeah, we wish got a lot list of... jumped up by a lot. I think Japan, Japan is, is number two, second. I believe. Yeah. It's number two. The US is number one on wish list and Japan's number two. So. Germany's number yeah, three. Yeah, there's definitely fact. been there's definitely been a lot of, of really positive reception which honestly shocks us because uh, I mean, yeah, we did our best to, but not, we have never been to Japan. I don't know, you know. So we did our best to try to make as good as it, it look as good as it can. But the truth is, uh, I was convinced that Japan was going to be like these foreigners. What are they doing with our, you know? But no, they've been from the stuff that we've been able to translate and kind of figure out from what we've been able to tell is they've been very sweet and very excited. Um, so. I'm I'm excited about it. Um, yeah. I'm also just <clears throat> really having fun with this. And you know, there's still more exciting things to look forward to, uh, besides the release date. Even uh, as I mentioned in our Discord server, we are working on an update to our demo that we will release this month sometime. Um, we fixed a lot of the problems that a lot of you are having, bug related or polish related. For example, swimming is all good now, or uh, the Don't ocean. Give away the surprise. I know, I'm oh, the show ocean them. and stuff, yeah. But most most importantly, and I'm going to have to say this one, and I said it in the Discord as well before, localization, we are we are finally, if we are finishing localization, and we are going to give everybody a nice update to the demo with all the languages that the game is localized to, which is German, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, Spanish, and French. Leaks the ocean. <laughs> Hi, Ren, no Rain worries. Leaks everything. Hey, that's kind of my thing now. And it's this thing. All right. Well, do you want to start the game? Uh, as we, I kind of really am having fun just sitting here playing with with Sparky. Yeah, yeah you're having way lie. too much fun playing with Sparky. <laughs> I haven't been able to show him. He's just been like, I can't tell you how tempted I've been every stream to just like take the camera and be like, look at, <laughs> or just have him like zoom by the screen. You should have Sparky here. cam. <laughs> you know how people have cat cams and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just him sitting in. The what's corner. an Akiya? <coughs> it's an Akia. Oh, a house. I assume it's a house by context. Yeah, I don't know. Sparky is making up for a lost year of attention. 
So, I, Rin, you're just gonna have to get, like, two. <laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. <clears throat> I mean, I'm gonna probably end up having a, like, oh, a pile right, right. of these. Oh, right, right, Akia means, uh, so. abandoned or vacant houses in rural Japan. R oh, see? I should have known that. This goes to show how terrible we are. Absolutely. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up Google Translate. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, thanks. Yes. We've tried very hard. Thank you. <laughs> um, for those who didn't use Google Translate, uh, they said this game made by a foreigner is amazing. So, yeah, I, I, you know, we thanks. we have um, we, we have a Japanese uh, speaking person on our uh, well on Merger's side of marketing that can help us translate uh, things properly, uh, both in terms of writing, writing and reading. And when we just when we got all of the attention that we did in Japan, we decided to put a message out thanking all of our amazing fans in Japan and also just kind of apologizing uh, in advance for anything that if we got screw wrong. Stuff up. And you know, I'm going to I'm going to go into the close face here. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to reiterate on that and say that again, we are sorry for things that we inet inevitably have gotten wrong in the game. Um, the reason that I chose Japan as the location for Sunnyside, most make my life impossible. <laughs> well, most like the number one reason is just because of the fact that how much I love Japan, and also the fact that visually, um, I had a very specific look in my head that only Japan could do. I wanted to yeah, recapture that Harvest Moon, save the homeland. That is one of the few Harvest Moon games that actually takes place in Japan. I wanted to capture that view, that look. Um, and it, it was only possible to do it through there. And then when we got the stories out and we started writing, our story kind of got really intertwined with Japanese um, related things, uh, not only in the caves, but also the story that you found that rural Japan is kind of dying and kind of trying to revitalize that. So we tried our best. We hope that it's good. Please do let us know if we got anything wrong. We noticed that some people told us that the snowman was incorrect in the game. We immediately we jumped on snowman. that and we fixed the snowman. So if there's yeah. anything else wrong, please do tell us. Tell and us. We'll fix it. Thank you so much for allowing us yeah. to um, do a game like this and uh, giving us support as so far as we've seen. So yeah. thank you all. Well, we'll fix as much as we can. There are some things that we won't be able to fix, but we're going to do our best. <laughs> <clears throat> um right. there was also a play, question by the way well no there's a question in the discord okay um so i'm gonna get you started and then i'll hit play uh braddy asked overall how was the feedback from the demo oh honestly so amazing let you talk about that good. while i put sparky away and yeah. i fire things up um, the, the most important thing to keep in mind about the demo and just the feedback and everything is that we have always been the firm believer that the game has to be able to sell itself. So the game has to be able to look good enough that somebody watching somebody else play it want to buy it. Uh, and we wouldn't have to rely on super doctorated trailers with fancy looking yeah. cinematics to sell the game. Um, so having the demo up has been incredible. Um, we had the biggest surge in our wishlist numbers ever since re um, putting the game on Steam, uh, ever since the demo went up, and our daily wishlist numbers have also been jumped by quite like five, six times ever since the demo has been up. And obviously, we have no intention of taking the demo down. In fact, we are really looking forward to FarmFest that is coming up uh, to keep the demo up and hopefully get a lot more attention during that time. But also... Most importantly, just as a note on Rainy Games aside, we um, there's nothing more important f uh, than feedback from players. Uh, because we get feedback from marketing, we get feedback from production, we get feedback from QA, and they're all very focused on doing a job. But when a player comes down and gives us a feedback, especially when it's a pretty in-depth one, well, first of all, we're just really thankful that you took the time to one, notice, and two, write down that, that feedback. So you have no idea how much it gives us energy and pushes us to do more with the game uh, when we see this feedback. And uh, yeah, the demo feedback, again, to summarize it, it's been amazing. It's been great. Um, honestly, sometimes I sit down and watch people play the game and I just think to myself, damn, we made this. Uh, because again, our team is absolutely incredibly tiny. Uh, and I am proud that we managed to make a game like this of the size. 
Yes, oh, Rin, what exactly. What's wrong with the snowman? Animal Crossing the, snowman. The, the snowman, um, we. Well, Octopus. The snowman was a western snowman. Really. It was, it was three balls. Yeah, it's two balls. Um, in the... Yeah, it's supposed to be two, and apparently no hat or carrots or arms. If I remember correctly, even. it's trying to mimic a character. It's a Doraemon. Oh, it's a Doraemon. Yeah. I freaking love Doraemon. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's not a lot Dor of tiny not things. Not Doraemon, no. Doraemon's a cat. No, not Doraemon. Dur Daruma doll. Oh, okay. There we go. So it's like a Daruma doll. Well, Octopoet, please feel free to head. correct us if we're wrong. Um, but yeah, that was that was a thing about the snowman. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, demo pumpkins. is great to be up, and we were really worried that there's there might be too much, uh, almost to a degree that people won't want to want to buy the game anymore um, because they would get enough out of the demo. But as soon as we 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 just said, you know what, we'll just kind of put it out. We realized and we that trust. was a very dumb fear. Yeah, it was a very dumb fear, and it's fine. So, and you know, there are people, <coughs> Phoenix, <coughs> that have played the demo millions of times <laughs> <laughs> for hundreds of hours, billions of times. Um, but there's still more to be found. So, honestly, if there's anything that I feel from seeing people play the demo hundreds of times, I'm just so flattered and honored that you guys choose like because any every time you open your steam you're selecting a game over other games so i just i just feel flattered yeah. that you click on sunny side rather than clicking on another game and i appreciate that <laughs> thank you to put we had um there's one thing that i want to say though we've had some incredibly talented people uh help us make sunny side our team, we've been so lucky to um, have this many talented people. I mean, from music to art to level design to writing, um, I think it's all great. Obviously, um, I only like to talk about my side of things and critique it publicly, um, which is programming and, you know, design of some of the systems and stuff. Um, but everything else that the team has done, I think, has been amazing. I mean, especially Matt's work. Like, it's crazy how good the music is. We got so lucky yeah, with that. The Matt. music is staggeringly good. <clears throat> oh, you're in summer, are you? Yeah. They nice. want a summer. Here's Get a, my animals. Look at Gabe's. That's Gabe's summer portrait for all you Gabe fans out there. <laughs> hey, let me spill the beans on Gabe's design. Shall I? Like who was inspired? Who inspired his design? I think I've already said it millions of times. Actually, yeah, it's nothing go for new. It. But but we have we have a lot of people who have not might have not seen those streams. Um, <clears throat> so Gabe was probably amongst the first three characters that we put together, and this is before um, Rainy Games was even a thing. Lauren and yeah. I were just Lauren, my partner, which is also part of the team. Um, we were just sitting on the sofa watching some reality show on the tv and we were just talking about this farming game of ours that we want to make and we're like okay so about characters what who should we make um so the idea was i think sebastian um cat and gabe so for gabe we were just sitting and we were thinking oh yeah what are some really like good looking men in video games that are just very like good characters too and we're like oh yeah joel from the last of us is very good and then oh arthur morgan from uh, from red Dead redemption 2 and uh, so, you know, we were just thinking about all these characters. We're like, oh, okay, let's just make one of those characters. It's certainly going to be popular. And I mean, yes, oh. hell yeah, it was popular. So that's that's where Gabe's inspiration came from. And for the name, we, we had played around with some different names, but Gabriel seemed like the most fitting name for him, you know, for the whole for the whole vibe that he has. Gabriel was perfect. And yeah, that's, that's where Gabe kind of came out to be. So when I see people say he gives Joel vibes, or Arthur Morgan vibes. You're absolutely correct, it does. Also Cassidy from Overwatch. Isn't he just <laughs> called the cowboy now? Well, he used to be called McCree, but they changed him to Cassidy. Right. Because he was named after one of the devs, I believe. That, that, that tool. Yes. 
Dang it. <laughs> this bug is still happening. It's driving me nuts. Oh, the clicking on the stuff? Yeah. At least they're not getting duplicated anymore. He's still selling no, a lot of animals. Getting, they're just getting eaten. Yeah, he's still selling way too much. Live bug um, testing. That, that saxophone is right, we'll crazy. Just, we'll just buy two. What did you even buy? Some chickens. Because my chickens disappeared. Did you make that back door openable? Because it didn't used to yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah, it was annoying. Yeah. Thank God. You're welcome. <laughs> that actually explains a lot. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning about myself. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, it's. I mean, when you really think about it, Gabe was a very easy character to come up with. It's just all the tropes that make a really lovable male character, honestly. <laughs> find some fishies. You could find some. Oh, yeah, the fishies in the world. Well, if you come across any, you don't have to, like, actually show them. I'm just here to play. That's, that's what I'm doing on this Sunday. <clears throat> You just guys some talk games. amongst yourselves. I'm just going to play some games. We will talk amongst ourselves. But what Kenny's on about is that um, we actually added the fish to the world. So you could fish before. Here's a secret about our fishing mini game. The actual visible fish in the rivers are not connected to the fish you can catch. So you could catch fish without the fish being visible. But now they're visible. You can actually see them jump around when the current is really fast and they do ride the current and everything it's really cool no i'm out of coffee shout out to fluid flux for that it looks it looks really good it does look good eat a candy apple so what is your what is your recommended build to have a lot of stamina because you i remember you told me about this before so why don't you share it um, with everyone else i usually do a can of coffee something sugary like um a caramel apple like I just ate, or um, I like the... My brain isn't pulling words very well today, so I'm going to be using some really weird ways to describe <laughs> things. But like um, those pancake things that I now can't remember the name of. Um, okay. So I'll do like a can of coffee, something sugary, and then like something that gives like a ton of hunger. It's like like a, you know, a mochi or a meal or something like that. So I don't have the, the like full build right now because I had a um, golden week right before this. So I have a whole bunch of like festival food right now. Ooh yeah. Oh yeah. No one can get to golden week right now in the demo. Yeah. What can we buy during um, golden week? I guess those candied apples, maybe. So, oh my god, so much. So the candy apples, the popcorn, the okonomiyaki, all of the cotton candy, chocolate bananas, yakisoba. Oh, I love yakisoba. So yeah, I loaded up on food. <clears throat> Sunny size bug bird capturing is by photos, right? Yes. Yeah. Are there weather and seasonal specific bugs that we need to be aware of? Because uh, um, not weather. Seasonal. Well, actually, yeah. let me give you a proper answer. So the critters are three categories: bug, birds, and fish. Bugs and birds work very similarly to each other, and they are mostly connected to season. Um, not too much weather, actually. The bugs do spawn more during weather, but that's about it. Now, the fish are a little bit more complicated. Each fishing spot has its own sort of seasonality and weather conditions and all that stuff. So you might find some fish at a very specific location during a time and weather, and you might find the same fish in a different location during a certain time and weather because they move around. Um, so that's how that system works. Um, good luck to the wiki team. Please reach out Seriously. if you need help with, to, to find out what's what, because it took a few months to put all of this into the game. So it's a pretty big system. But that's how it works. Absolutely. I don't think... Have you unlocked the critter system in this in this save of yours? Yeah, I've got everything. So you could go take us a critter photo, just so everyone yeah. can see how it works. Awesome. I'm trying to get you guys animals. Okay, one step all right, all right, one step at a time. Con Candy Icon, yes. Uh, the Icon team did great on that. They, oh my god, the Icon team killed it. The Icons are so cute. Which is, by the way, Lauren and Cowrie at the moment. We also had Liz and, working. Uh, and yes. Erica. And Erica as well, actually, true. Erica true. did Icons. Um, no worries at all. Good luck on work. We'll be here for probably another... 
I don't know, half an hour at least. So yeah. At least. <laughs> and well, I hope you enjoy the game when it comes out. Will there be a uh, Tayaki in the game? I Heck think yeah. yeah, yeah, we do have Tayaki yeah, in the it's game. Yeah, it's a festival food. There you uh, go. It's F, right? Yeah. Also, I'm going to give everybody a little uh, tip on the demo. If you want to build a lot of fences and pathways, the best one is the other sticks. So, um, I recommend going to Philip and buying the stick related fences and pathways and everything. And then it's so incredibly easy to make because you just literally need the sticks that the trees drop. Will the graphics be optimized a little bit more for lower end graphic cards sometimes in the future? Yes, absolutely. So we are going to be optimizing the game all the way up to May and release um, more. Thanks to consoles um, too, because they Dom, also. I forgot to kinda, click. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it's gonna get more optimized. So hopefully the game will be able to run even better uh, as well. Currently, we've got a steady sort of sixty frames Very on amazing. our recommended graphics card but uh, the more optimized obviously the more computers will support it um somebody asked in the discord um if there's an app for tracking um like seasonality and stuff for bugs and birds and fish and things uh so i'm actually first i'm going to say luna Fay, thank you so much um i hope you re enjoy the game when it comes out um but uh right so no not really actually that's gonna be a wiki thing yeah because yep. the way it works and honestly i'm gonna say it was a bit of an oversight maybe uh but the way the way it works is that you need to first take a photo of the bug or bird and then once you do that then it'll add it to the list of things that you have it doesn't actually give you the info about them before you capture them because it also doesn't give you that information before that happens. Yeah. Uh, but it's also well, somewhat... the whole point is that you're helping him, right? So Yeah, so it's designed in a way that he doesn't know himself where they are around the world. So. Because they're researching them. Yeah. I think I... No. How big is your team? I know I first heard that the game was a year or two ago. I uh, work on a large indie team, so I know how long it takes to make even a simple game, but this looks like a game yeah. I need. Oh, thank you. Um, currently, our team is seven people. Um, we had more members. Uh, some of them left for college. Oh, no, your game crashed. What happened? I Was that the access violation error? Yep. Yeah, still don't know why that happens. Um, yeah, we are seven Boo! people now. <laughs> Uh, we're seven people now, and uh, the, there were more in, in our team. Uh, some left for college and education, and uh, and yeah, that's we are seven now. Myself, Matt, Carrie, Alan, Ken, Lauren. Yeah. It probably didn't help that I had the opening screen running for like two hours. Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Mims, and I hope that all the work that we do on the optimizing would make it run better on your computer as well. Um, jackpot asked on the server. Oh, do the buttons on the backpack work now? They work. They still float a little bit. They do float, yeah. Do you have any achievements? Yeah. You miss Ren showing you all of his spicy eating habits. I know. I mean, Ren is still around. He's. I think he's just finishing his uh his degree right now. Actually, Ren decided to go to school. Yeah. He Which, he sent me yeah, some photos of a Persian restaurant he went to, and I was very happy. <laughs> That's great. Did you? What are they doing? Did you say yes to Kyle or not? Or not? What? Did you go out with Kyle? He didn't ask me out. Oh, I thought he messaged you saying, "Do you want to go out?" No, he messaged me saying, hey, come buy vehicles from me now. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, you're that far into the... I mean, yeah, yes. it's summer, of course you would be. I just wanted to get animals! <laughs> game hates you. Your dumb game crashed. <clears throat> Thank you, Captain Greg. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta chop all this grass down. Thank God for the machete, though. 
Oh yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, the machete has a much, much bigger range when it cuts grass. Yeah. I don't have any coffee. Um, okay. and, uh, yeah, um, I saw in general that Cloud had asked about the farming fest. Yes, it is coming up in, uh, and Momo, thank you for sharing the link about that. Uh, yeah, it is coming up in the end of the month, 29th. You can see it on the public calendar for Steam. And I think yeah. it lasts for two weeks. I'm really looking forward to it because this is like our own, this is our thing, right? Um, and because we have a demo up, uh, people can go and play it. And hopefully it's going to um, showcase the game to a lot of new players that might have not uh, discovered Sunny Sun on their own. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get a lot of a uh, lot of new players playing Sunnyside. Vehicles. Yes, Steph. It's, it's, it's the whole thing. You can get the bicycle in the demo. I think yeah. uh, going off of the latest stats from... Um, um, uh, from our friend Pat, uh, it's going to take you four days is the earliest you can get the vehicles. He has a whole video on how to get the vehicles and how early mm -hmm. you can get it. He speed ran it. It was great. How are the bike mechanics doing? Specifically standing up with something that launched you through high <laughs> stratosphere. Um, I, do you mean like f th fixing the bug of it shooting you up to the sky? haven't really looked at fixing it because it's you have to follow a few very specific steps for it to happen you have to like stand on the bike as you summon it for it to trigger so I haven't looked at it yet also i know a lot of people love it which is kind of funny to, to be fair <laughs> you obviously you do have a bicycle right but you haven't oh. got the scooter yet or anything else yeah i have the bike nice I'm honestly so excited for the full release of them as a couple. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully, uh, I hope I hope that you like the game when it comes out fully. Love the demo. Yeah. The harvest everything? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me... What I really like about how the stamina system works is that, like, if you run out of stamina and you're waiting for it to refill, you can just, like, go harvest plants or go, like, do something else, isn't it? Yeah, I like to I like to definitely mention something about the stamina system. The whole reason we have a food meter is because I wanted the you guys to have a way to restore stamina. Obviously, in a lot of farming games, you can do that, starter included. You can just eat some food, and then it will get you your stamina back, but not a lot. You have to eat constantly. But in Sunnyside, you can just... Point. Yeah, so long as you keep your stomach full, your stamina will constantly come back up. So you you almost can have unlimited stamina as long as you've managed your food well. You you have unlimited stamina for day. And you'd want that unlimited stamina because you haven't seen the size of some of the other farms, actually. Oh my god, they're so big. They're massive. I'm actually worried okay. about how big they are. I am too. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that they're mostly going to be used for, like, cattle and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I tell myself. I hope so. Are you following the same steps as it crashed? <laughs> yes. I liked the way it looked. I mean, fair enough. Uh, do we have any ah! info on a Switch release right now? There are no plans on a Switch release right now. Um... And that was a decision that we did not make. And before the inevitable Switch 2 question, uh, also we don't know. Because we have just as much information as all the rest not of you. Not up to us. We don't even know if it's happening. No. I, I follow the news on IGN and whatnot for that as well. I don't have any, you know, developer inside news either, unfortunately. We tried, we asked Nintendo. But they don't they don't. they don't care. <laughs> they don't tell us nothing. June 10th can't come quicker. Try to demo on Steam, but your PC did not like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I am getting sick of this grass. 
That's like, your next thing you gotta fix. What? There's no fixing anything. It's working as it's supposed to. Um, you're, to be able to put down blueprints if there's grass in the way. Oh, and just not build it? Yeah, actually, fair enough. Yeah. So that's the idea that we had, because it's, it's a bit, a bit annoying that you can't put down blueprint if there's grass, so we were thinking... Yeah, the whole idea is planning, right? Yeah, the idea is that we're going to allow you to put down blueprints, but you can't build them fully uh, unless yeah. their grass is cleared. Do you guys have a publisher? We do, yes. They're called Merge Games. And they are the people uh, that also published games such as Bramble and Smallland at the moment. Smallland. And, uh, yeah, they're releasing more games uh, that are coming up, such as Spirit of the North 2, which I'm excited to play, actually. That's weird. You know, oh, Nintendo right now is very stingy with developer permissions. I, I think, I feel like Nintendo has always been stingy with albums, absolutely everything. If Nintendo isn't doing it themselves, then they're not going to be very kind <laughs> about anything. <laughs> Love okay. Small Ant. Yeah, Small Ant's good. Um, we, you know, it's funny. We got we got access to Small Ant such a long time ago uh, in, like, their beta builds and stuff. Are you, by the way, are you hiding your HUD yourself? Yeah, I've okay. been playing too much Helldivers. <laughs> and the, to hide... To run in Helldivers is the same button we use to hide your HUD. So okay. I keep doing it by accident. <clears throat> but yeah, we got we got access to a really early uh, version of Small Land. It was fun to uh, fly around their test level, but it's it's come a long way. Small Land for sure. Yeah, Small Land's great. Kevin yeah. and I had a lot of fun playing it. They shared some of their bug models with us, but we never ended up using them. But shout out to them. <laughs> Honestly, I, I people have said a lawnmower mod a lot. I think it would actually take a lot longer to like fire up a lawnmower <laughs> to clear all the grass. Like, but it's, but it's the, fun. once you have the machete, it's it's pretty quick. It's not a hard. But it's fun. Like, like if if it's a drivable lawnmower, that would be very fun to just drive around and. Hmm. That won't be too hard I like to implement. My machete. Actually, don't tempt me. <laughs> yeah, no such thing as too much Helldivers. I totally agree. <laughs> you absolutely need someone to make a mod that their ground is not brown dirt and looks like tiny grass on the screen. So, sure, for that... the record... What? For the record, I've asked Rainy to do that. Well, I was gonna answer we why we don't do that. We have gotten there yet. But I wanted it. Just for the record. To be green Same. under the grass that you haven't cut yet. Yeah. It's yeah. difficult. Yeah. That's really it. We might <laughs> still do it. Because um, we we found some possible shortcuts. but There are some ways to do it. Yes. There are some, I don't know if they're going to work on console. But probably going to get working on PC. Yeah. Goats yeah, are the lawnmowers. You know what? True. If you get animals. I haven't implemented yeah. this yet. It's still on our list of to do. Before release. But animals need to eat the wild grass. That's like half the point of having them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to implement that. Did the ghost eat the grass in game? There you go. <laughs> Answered it before it was it was asked. And Bramble is gorgeous. It is. Bramble looks amazing. And some incredible devs too that we work with. Or we know we don't work with them, sadly. But we know them. <laughs> we're, we're familiar. We're, we're friends. They were, were super. Friendly. They were super hyped that Jacksepticeye played Bramble. Yeah, that was hype. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. What? Why don't they have names now? I should use a machete to clear my lawn. Neighbors would stop being nosy real quick. Is that because you're wielding a machete? <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's being nosy, you can just stare them in the eye even while holding the machete. Oh yeah, um, we now also allow you to sell stuff to some of the Sunnyside uh, vendors. No, Higashi vendors. My bad. And some of them do buy stuff. I still haven't put the markup for the shady guy. I really need to implement that because that's the whole point of him. Otherwise, the plushies are going to be too easy to acquire.
Okay, so where are you going now? What's the plan now? To Kyle. Oh, vehicles, right. He's he's gonna tell yeah. you about. <clears throat> um, but I also wanted to quickly say that what we've been doing in the past few months, so um, as Sydney said, obviously, kind of all the way up to our release date announcement. So we obviously helped with the trailer. We didn't edit it ourselves. This one, we edited the one for um, uh, WLG event, uh, which is the demo announcement trailer. We made that one ourselves. Uh, this one was made and handled handled by Merge, uh, but we supplied them with footage. So that's that's one thing we've been doing. But more importantly, uh, and the thing that took most of our time has been finishing localization. So. Pretty much, it was last December, so December of last year, is when we finished localizing the entirety of story. And that is the bulk of the game. That's like 90% of all of the text in the game. So that's daily dialogue for NPCs, that's stories for NPCs, all of them localized to every language that we support. What was left since then has been the UI and interactions in the world and your phone. You know, all of this just scattered words around the game. I used an analogy back then when I was talking to uh, Merge about it. And it's it, it still kind of holds up to this day. It's like, you know, when you're cleaning your room and you get rid of the bulk. And then at the end of cleaning the room, you're just like looking at the room and you're left with a bunch of crap on the floor that you don't know what to do with. That is the stage that the game was at pretty much at that point with terms of localization. So it took us about three or four weeks to clean up all of those loose texts and put them in a table that we could then reference and localize. So that's been done. So now it's been sent to our amazing localization team um, and they're handling it now. And they're translating it and localizing it to all of the languages that we support and should be back before we do the updates for the demo. If I knew that the game was going to get the traction it did in Japan, we probably would have changed our plans a little bit to make sure that localization is implemented into demo from the yeah, start. We, yeah. would have. we did not expect that <laughs> at all. I mean, we were very flattered, but we did not expect it. <clears throat> Are you going to buy the vehicle right out? No, I can't. Did he not tell you he's going to sell it? It's the next day. Um, or you have to build the garage first or something. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the, it is the garage. 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 Well, apparently I've been told that garage is the correct pronunciation because it's actually a French word. So I don't know. Also, we say garage in Persian as well, so... It's garage. <laughs> garage is just British people trying to be special. <laughs> special. <laughs> it's just, let's just call it what it is in the game. Vehicle shed. Vehicle shed. Vehicle shed. This hill is so hard. Oh, God. Uh, did you say you were updating the demo soon? Yes. Um, <clears throat> we're not sure. The plan has been to do it kind of alongside the farm fest. Um, I wanted to talk to Sydney and <laughs> the rest about doing it a bit what? earlier. But uh, we haven't had that chat yet. So I'm just going to say this month it's going to get updated. Yeah, it'll be this month. Well, I wanted to say maybe we can do it a week earlier, but we haven't talked about it yet. Oh, that's a good question. What PC specs would you recommend? Oh, honestly, the, the specs that are on our Steam page are pretty good. Those I've said those myself. So let me let me have a look. Um, so on our Steam page, it says recommended um, uh, i7. Um, there, yeah, so you've got to build the thing first. Okay, 3770K. Uh, or a Ryzen 5 um, 3600. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM and GPU, which is the most important thing for Sunny Side is GPU. Sunny Side is GPU um, kind of bound. And uh, for that, what? I recommend at least a 2060 um, or an ATI Radeon RX uh, 5600. Oh, maybe they are working, Jack. It's they the all button. say the achievements. Yeah, they say the achievements locked. Oh, that oh. one worked. Only that one, though. You need to have unlocked it fully to be able to just... No, actually, no, you shouldn't. Yeah, because these <clears> up <throat> here have the check mark. Oh. But it says it's locked. It says it's locked, okay. Yeah, some of them are. <clears throat> um, um, but yeah, they, they work, but they, like, float. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we need That's to adjust them, thing. yeah. But uh, one other thing about the PC specs is that apparently 
and again, we're new to this whole game making business, right? But uh, Merge told us that apparently what we can do is that uh, there is a service where we can have the game be ran through multiple different computers with multiple different specs, and a company will come back to us with a nice... Testing. Yeah, there you go, that's what it's called. We'll come back to us with a nice report, and then at that point we can decide what computer specs is the best. But this is kind of what I gauged, um, running it on the different PCs that I had access to through my friends and whatnot, and figured out the game runs best on. I know Wait, a 20 series oh sounds God, bad, but considering how long the ga our game has took to come out, 20 series is not that crazy you know anymore. <laughs> it's gonna take too long. And oh. no worries at all. If you're looking to buy a GPU, 20 series are great. I recommend a 2070 Super. Um, or if you can spend a bit more money, a 3060 or something like that would be great too. But I am an NVIDIA boy, so I, I recommend an NVIDIA card over an, an, an AMD one. And it's purely my own preferences ati not amd ati purely my own preferences so don't come at me <laughs> wow, space already? Uh, your inventory is full <clears throat> got lots of stuff will you allow content creators access a few days early before release that's a very not good question not up to us so we have not a list um is that correct sid we have a list yep. of influencers. Yes, we have a list of influencers that includes streamers and content creators, um, and um, it's we call it our wish list, which we are going to then present to the marketing team and say, hey, maybe we can give the game earlier to to this list and have them cover it. They haven't confirmed it yet with us, but that's the plan. But um, anyone, any if you're a content creator and you would like us to add you to the list, please contact. Feel free to reach out. Steph, if you want us to add you to the list, we can. More than happy to, actually. How do you oh, get on the creator list? Just uh, let us know. And I, th Luna Fe, I think you're already on the list. Email us. Yeah. Luna if Faye's you played the, list, the alpha, right? if you played the alpha, then you're already. So you don't yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Got all my stuff. Um, I'll just add you to the list now. No worries. But for anyone else who's watching this in the future, just reach out to Sydney and. Uh, yeah, it's easier if you if you email us. Um, it will be easier actually. Just because, yeah. like, when you th why can I not hit buttons today? When you think about like all the different places you can contact us, um, you know, you've got Twitter, you've got Kickstarter, you've got Instagram, you've got email you've got discord you've and it's a lot to keep up with honestly so email is going to be like the one guaranteed i will see that we can respond uh, but if you if you message us on one of the others there might it might be well before we get to you yeah yeah true and um uh there was another one is the instant home button going to stay in the full game Yes. Yeah. So this was this was pretty funny because this is one of those moments that's almost similar to what happened in uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, did you know that the ascendability was a debug thing and they added that as a feature at the end of, at the end because it was just too convenient. So we're gonna do one of those and kind of keep the home button as a thing for the front full game. Obviously, we're gonna probably polish it a bit more so it's not just a teleport, maybe a fade screen or something in the middle, a transition of some sort. To kind of cover it, but yeah, it's gonna stay. Oh, no worries at all, Steph. We'll get. <laughs> Thank you for covering us. Uh, I'm just gonna be streaming it as soon as I get to go ahead. Rin, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I need a lot of screws. Clearly. Oh yeah, a lot of people who are playing the demo haven't noticed the to-do list. Yeah. So, give us a tutorial. What oh, is, is that it? Everything? Um, <coughs> it, it's. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's your to-do <laughs> list. <laughs> yeah, but close it so that we can see how it looks normally. Yeah, you see that tab? If you click on that, in a shop, you get your to-do list. Which auto fills itself with all the stuff you need. Yeah. I need a lot of bolts apparently too. The only thing I don't like is that it hides how much you have on your services page. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Can't have everything. 
you know, just, you know, <laughs> complaining. It might be all my iron. I only order 50 at a time? What kind of garbage is that? Who decided that? Uh, what else do I need? Tension. <clears throat> People are loving the game on my little channel, so I can't wait to play the, uh, play full for them. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, I you know, um, <clears throat> as much as I love um, for streamers with really large audiences to cover our game, it's also just, it's a different vibe. It's just a completely different vibe when you go to a streamer that has a smaller but more kind of tightly knit uh, audience and community. Because uh, I, I, I said it before, I lurk in all of the streams, but it's so sweet to just sit and just feel like a bunch of friends are just hanging out together. Um, especially yeah. if you're like streaming Sunnyside. It's it's really cool because uh, people are a lot more talkative and there's less spam and there's less trolls. It's just it's just a nicer environment. So I always appreciate, um, you know, smaller communities like that. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to make a little Teleportation could be part of a Sparky's powers. We could explain it that way, honestly. Yeah. That that well, is actually how I kind of already justified it. Well, that's, that's how, how it works when it teleports you home. Yeah, that's what happens when, when you pass, pass out, out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that that would make yeah. sense that he just kind he of he already is kind of teleporting you places. Yeah. Oh no! Did I miss Ooh, it? Oh, the summer night so... theme. That's a banger now. Summer, I think. See the lo-fi? Ah, oh, the vibes are too good. Well, it wasn't on during the day because it was raining. Ah, fair enough. It's your fault. It does feel very cozy, Otipo, exactly. I don't have enough wood. He just picks you up and flies you home. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of like that's Tails. That's how we explained it, yeah. In Sonic, he could pick you up. To be fair, you know, I mean, I don't think it's much of a secret that Sparky was very much inspired by Sonic and Tails. Yeah. In design. I remember when I was streaming modeling him for the very first time. And I was like, oh, it looks like Tails! Yeah. I did it in the server publicly. Mm -hmm. when I When I modeled him for the first time. I should have recorded it. That was too iconic of a moment. And now, a year later, there's a plushie for him. It's actually mind-blowing to me. Is that something? Oh, look at oh. look at everyone sharing the love in the chat. That's what you like to see. What? We're following all the streamers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Okay, bye! My son just said Sparky looks like Tails. Yeah, yeah. I'm a certified Sonic fan, so. Oh my god, you guys have no idea how big of a Sonic fan he is. Yeah. Some Sonic fans don't have the best sort of reputation. You know, sometimes Lauren makes fun of me for it, but I am a Sonic fan. What? Stream what is still think? going. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, it's just a chill, chill Sunday for us all to hang out. And uh, yeah, it is good. It's usually our streams, especially if you're new to our dev streams. Usually we do have a different format where you sort of... Um, <clears throat> When we go through all the latest stuff that we've done, usually a slideshow of photos or videos of what we've done, la latest stuff that we've done. But this one, now that the release date is out, now that all the stuff is out, and the demo is out that you can try yourself, Sydney's just going to play it like she is. Well, that fish really doesn't want to get to you. Got it. Well, there you go. Ocean fishing. What? Yay. What is that? A baby fish. Bard flagtail. Some of these... Uh, lore names, by the way. Can we talk about that for a moment? Sure. <laughs> Can you tell everyone that we didn't make any of this up? I did make them up. Every single Wait. one of them was made up by me. No, no, no. That's... Yes. Hold on. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. You did not come up with them, like, 
they're not completely original. They're based on real ones. They're not completely. They're based that's, on original. That's what yeah, I meant to so, say because they're so weird. <clears throat> they are super weird. So what I did was yeah. I went on to actual fishing websites, and I looked up like lure packs and different types of lures, and um, and then the ones that I thought looked funny and had funny names, I chose them. But a lot of the names are like trademarks. So I couldn't right. use the actual names. So if it was called like, you know, furry something, I would call it fuzzy or so like there are some like known types. Um, <clears throat> so like, oh, that was a cool one. That's a good fish. So like if we look at him, oh, that's interesting. That is a new one. Okay. <laughs> um, so if we look at him. Um, so like the crab is like a well-known one. There's a that's like, a rare one, isn't it? The crabby one. A fuzz, yeah. There's like a, a deer fuzz one that's like a really well-known. Like the deer fuzz one is actually like banned in competitions. Um, I so, have heard of that because there's a there's yeah, a guy so, on YouTube show that that makes lures and he does say some oh, really? uh, some are banned or competitions. Yeah. So I tried to like make it as realistic as possible to actual lures without stealing lure names. But I will tell you, I had so much fun coming up with those lure names <laughs> and like taking pictures of them. And so what I did is I did all the research and I named them. And then I gave the research, uh, the, the new names and the images of what I wanted them to look like to the icon team. And then the icon team actually designed what they look like. Some of them look so, so. goofy. Yeah, some of them are pretty goofy. <laughs> that is one way to get home quick. I mean, it's literally the home button, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I only did it because I was falling through the map. So. I didn't want to go home. That was actually kind of inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently if you kneel while you're standing in the water, Rainy, it'll push you through the world. That's weird because so, I did that earlier. There's a bug for you. On the I couldn't reproduce it. Or it didn't happen because I thought. I'm wondering if you actually had to do anything with the fishing line instead. Well, I don't know cuz I, I just all I know is I went from standing I, I got rid of the line. Jump and off then of I opened the, up my backpack. Jump off of the promenade is so much more fun than going down no. the steps. You ragdoll and stuff. I'm a, I'm a good kid. Is that a fishing box here? Why not be? It's weird. There should be. Do, do. Will the home button stay? Yes, yes, yes. We'll 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 uh, polish it up a bit more, but then we'll keep it. Equip it or unequip it? Feel like it works that way. I broke fishing. Equip unequip. That might work. Dang it. Oh, okay, good. Good call. Good call. <coughs> Back to doing what I was doing. <clears throat> I'm trying to get, like, a hard fish. It's all been really easy. It's a nice one. Oh, I was doing the fishing competition. And then wanted a surgeon fish, and I knew exactly what to do, where to go, how to get it. First fish I caught was a surgeon fish. I was like, I'm gonna catch a couple more in case I get a bigger one. Yeah. Ran back to the thing, got there right at seven o'clock. Oh no! And it was closed. I was bummed. Closed. What? What does so Carl bummed. tell you when it's closed? Nothing. He just is walking around. Oh, he just so sad. ignores you. Yeah. So sad. Northern Lights, yes, we do body. have Northern Lights, and they are purely an artistic choice because they don't really no. exist in Japan, at least not in the area that their their game is set. Um, oh yeah, look, there's you can actually see the fish now. Yeah. Fish. I don't think you can. I think you can get to fishing in the demo, but you have to like really focus on it. Yeah, Pat got it there. I got yeah, there. I think I think he got there in like day eight or something. It takes it takes a while. What is Sparky doing? <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> Will the body ever be more customizable? No, unfortunately. Yeah. No, not definitely not base game anyway. 
This is as good as we could get it. We tried. <clears throat> there we go, finally! What? Got a hard one. Oh. That is a difficult one. Yeah, this one's gonna take a while. Almost. Oh my god. Once you get good at it, you start to learn how long it you need to hold it, and you can kind of get, get ahead of it. Get ahead of it. Yeah. Nice. What? <laughs> All of that for that? What is that? Flathead? Oh, it's very flat. It's hoping it'd be a cod. Oh. <laughs> You're almost gonna. No, you got an hour before you pass out. Is it possible to skip the mini game? No, I don't think so. What part of it is hard on your wrist? Because we tried to make it as like. Yeah, it's a hold. Uh, by accessible the way. as possible. Not like. Tapping. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a hold. Maybe it's the constant clicking and unclicking. Clicking and releasing. Well, yeah, that's why I play on controller. Um, but we had yeah. we had discussed an easy fishing option. Yeah. Yeah, the, the I can't do fishing in Stardew Valley. It's too hard. It's it's too hard on my hands, specifically. But we made our hello. Is, the speedrunner himself pretty. is here. Hi, welcome, Pat. Hey, if you're Pat's looking here. to yeah, if you're looking to see what is possible in the demo, definitely check Pat's channel. There's yeah. uh, lots of very good videos on what is possible and how long it'll take. That's a that's a cool looking fish. Cool looking fish. Oh no, it's not repetitive clicking motion. Absolutely, no, it's just not. holding it. It was because, but it is. Yeah, it was originally. The thing that you guys can kind of always count on is um, I have a lot of I wouldn't say disabilities. But I've really asked Rainy for a lot of, like, ex accessibility type things. Yeah. Because I physically can't do a lot of things that I think a lot of gamers are used to. I need to go home. Um, so, yeah, that's something you can kind of count on with us. You'd be going as slow as you can when the game comes out. <laughs> yeah. How many different fish are there total? Hold on, I'll get you that I number in just a second. He can get you the number, yeah. I uh, have it Gosh, on the achievements tab because there is an achievement for getting all of them. There is... Um, achievements... Dang it! Let's do that. Sorry, Philip. There are Easy. a total of 46 different types of fish and 59 different types of critters, including birds and bugs total as well. So... All in all, um, 105 or 104 um, alt critters, birds and bugs, 59, fish, 46. Why did we make an achievement for rescuing 50 pets? Whose idea was that? Mine. Crazy. 50 pets. Why? Yeah. But it's pets, not farm animals. Yep. So you're going to have 50 cats and dogs. Oh my god. Yeah! If you want to be a rescue farm, you can totally do that. Mm, I saw. There's definitely lots to catch and find, yeah. Shout out to Ken for modeling them. Uh, and shout out to the icon team for the really funny and awesome looking icons. Icons are so good. You ended up modding Stardew to skip the fishing minigame. Yeah, same actually. Yeah. Uh, last time I played, I also modded it. I've been I've been really meaning to play 1.6, but I still haven't got around to it. I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo. And Baldur's <laughs> Gate with my partner. <laughs> Lauren. It's funny. For the fifth time. That's a lot of Baldur's Gate. Holy crap. That is a lot of Baldur's Gate. Can never have enough Baldur's Gate. And who's releasing <laughs> these pets into the world? <laughs> Sunny Sight. So, yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot of these poor poor animals to uh, 
You died. Your camera died. I did? I think you're just coming back. I'm back! You are back. Hello. Back. If Gabe rejects me, I need to be able to summon my inner cat lady. <laughs> sure. Well, you can have both, you know? Gabe's, Gabe will be happy with all those cats, probably. Consider, I mean, he literally has a dialogue like that says he prefers them to humans most of the time. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Which is so relatable, honestly. One of the farms is just a rescue. You could absolutely do that. Funny enough, we that? designed the whole multi-farm system with the idea of you specializing them in each. Yeah. You don't have to. You can just have everything everywhere. But yeah. it would make more sense for you to have a farm that is just focused on animals, a farm that is just focused on like trees and um, fr fruits and stuff. Because, again, some of the farms are massive. I don't think you guys understand how big I'm talking about. Like, probably at least four times the size of the, the first one you have in the demo is the last one that you can get. And it's got elevation changes, it's got a whole, like, a hill that is higher up, a lower one, and then a, a tiny one at the bottom. There's one that is multi-tiered, uh, there's one that is really flat and large, but next to a really big river, uh, even bigger than the one next to the gates one. So, you could definitely specialize in them. And we are also working on ideas on allowing you to kind of teleport between them. But we haven't come yeah. up with anything concrete just yet. Because we don't want you to have to like drive to them every morning because that'll just become That'd a hassle be so more than annoying. anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I would love to have animal farm, seed farm, plant trees farm, rescue center. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. We got a total of four you can get. Yeah. And one of them you have to unlock, by the way. Not with just money, like actually unlock. Yeah. <coughs> um, my favorite thing is being able to weather quickly. <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> you just know I'm going to spend so much time decorating in this game. I hope so. There's still some quality of light changes I'm making to the build mode because it's a bit finicky still. Um, but once those are done, yeah. <coughs> Oh, uh, there you go. The That's for you, Sydney. What? I'm not even gonna read it. You gotta read it yourself. No, I'm watering my plants. Well, also put it says, although my playtest experience was short, I will say as a writer, the character seems well-rounded. Really appreciate that. Ah, thanks. Yeah. I tried. Sydney, he's done majority of the writing in the game, with uh, very little help on other characters. Some characters. We do like a taxi. <laughs> well, the idea that we have is. Um, Don't tell them! Not very close, actually, to that. Don't it's, tell it's them. It's something you have to unlock, though. Yeah. Yeah. And buy. And buy, yeah. And build. And, yeah, true. It was raining for the first couple days I was playing, I didn't have to do any of that. Yeah, now you're busy. You don't have any irrigation systems. No, they don't work. Oh, do they not? Oh, they don't save? No, they don't save. Why would I waste my hard-earned time and money? Plus, I also just do really like the hose. It's very satisfying. It does make it very easy. It is kind of like a... First person shooter or third person shooter. Yeah. But you're just shooting plants with water. <laughs> you're shooting plants with water. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> All my pumpkins. And Rin, <clears throat> what you said about building, I am really excited and looking forward to seeing all the the farms that people. Oh will my create god, with, I'm s I'm so yeah, excited about mode. it. I cannot wait. Because it's just, it's already been really exciting watching the characters people have made in the demo. Yeah. But just the build mode stuff, especially in the full game, once you have access to it. Once everything. we unleash you guys. Yeah. We did have one person during the playtest who managed to get pretty far and mm. made an incredible farm. I was very, it, like, it was stuff I never would have imagined you could have done. Oh, thank you, Otopo. You're being, you're being too kind. Um... Uh, too often video games have caricatures, not characters. One of the main reasons I fell for this game. Thank you! I knew you'd I totally to agree! <laughs> yeah. It's something that I really... 
you know, I say a lot that the story for Sunnyside was inspired by Fruits Basket. And what I mean by that isn't like, you know, the emo I mean, yeah, kind of how emotional Fruits Basket is. But specifically what I mean by it is that in Fruits Basket, the characters that you meet, you kind of form these snap decisions based on how they're characterized. And like, everybody kind of seems like they're a stereotype. And then as you learn about them through the course of the show, you kind of realize everybody's a lot more complicated and complex and has very, um, like, complicated backstories and motivations and things that push them to make the decisions that they make. And that's how I wrote Sunnyside. I wanted that, like, no, not nobody is who you think they are when you first meet them. They all have complicated reasons for why they do things, and so that's yeah. That was that's how I did it. Get out of here, fox! <laughs> you should you should go away. You should pour water on it. He hates that. He's gone. No, you can't pour water on him. He's gone. Um, what am I doing? All oh, right. Bullets. <laughs> See, I keep trying to hit. You run. keep trying it. <laughs> uh, too many shooter games. Too many democracy. Eh. Too much democracy. Too much democracy, yeah. Man, do you remember the time where Quick Move didn't exist? Um, yeah, it was like the most painful period of my whole life. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, how many NPCs are there? Um, there too are... Too many. <laughs> that's too many. Uh, 32. And, um, 28 of them have stories, right? 27. 27 of them have stories. Like hangout system faulting. Like, yeah. And 25 yeah, of them are romanceable. 25 of them are romanceable. Yeah. 25 romanceable, 27 stories, 32 total. Yeah. And we have a bunch of the faceless as well, obviously. How is the water getting refilled automatically? What? Oh, that's a great question. Cloud asks. I will yes. show you. <clears throat> that is a lot, Otapoa, and I regretted it uh, for this the longest time. But thank God, we did it. Yeah, that's that's how, how the water is getting filled. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I have. My, Those lights um, are so. I only cute. have one tank right now. On the Aren't trees. they cute? Yeah, looks and then amazing. I only have one tank. Hmm. So. so those water pumps automatically fill the tank. And obviously... And, you know, the solar panel actually, if you you left too quick, but um, it's not generating as much power because it's cloudy today, but it's enough for those. Because it's not enough water needed. And, yeah, the uh, I am proud to say that the solar panels do work based on sun coverage. And um, the wind ones also generate power based on how windy it is, which is again connected to trees and grass and everything. There's a whole of shorts that I made for it, you can see on our channel. Rainy with the cheeky smile. <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, yeah. no, you don't need 25. <laughs> oh, I guess, yeah, if you want to get to everybody's final romance scene, you would need to play 25 games. You would need games. to play 25 games, yeah. Um, but, um, what's that? Otopo, yeah, so we, I regretted it um, for a very long time. I still do to a degree, but I am very proud that the team has managed to do it. Uh, both writing, both art, everything all together. Oh. You could do it where you, like, take your save to the non-lock-in point for every single romance, and mm. then, like, copy it, and then drop it in, and continue, like, each person individually. So you wouldn't have to fully do 25 saves. You can only do it on PC, though. Yeah, true, true. But when you can, like, when you do the final, like, the lock-in point for a character, it the game automatically um, removes all of your other dates, so to speak. Yeah. They're not. There's no like 
scene of them declining you or breaking up with you though you kind of skip that by going that route because if you want to manually break up with them there's there's breakup dialogue and everything there is breakup dialogue some i would suggest avoiding it at all costs <laughs> some are <laughs> some are a lot worse than others <laughs> i uh, yeah i'm um i definitely had fun with that who's a really like sad one Probably Riozo's the worst. Oh, I actually don't even remember Riozo's. Yeah. Um, Natalie's is pretty bad. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Hanako's is pretty bad. Oh yeah, Hanako, I know. <laughs> she's she's just she's just Hanako. Hanakawala. Well, yeah, that's why I wrote them the way I wrote them. I kind of wanted people to feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Clouds, you're going to have a hard time because here's the thing, though. Um, <laughs> it's not just you that can confess to them. They can also confess to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could find yourself in a pretty awkward situation. <laughs> um, once you hit a certain friendship point, it's it, the confession unlocks. And uh, the NPCs, each one, have their own secret confession point, too. And mm -hmm. if you hit it, they're going to ask you. But if you say no to them, they're not going to ask you again. So. Yeah. You don't have to keep beating them off with a stick. Mm. <laughs> and they won't ask you if you're already out with someone. So okay, at least there's that. Yeah. I'll look at Lucy's cute little Lucy's outfit. just loosing. <laughs> Cloudy day. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> My son. <laughs> Actually, um, I would say probably Melody is like the town counselor. Mm hmm. Melody is definitely one of the characters that's uh, easier on the breakup too. Yeah. Yeah. Josh is too. Josh is as well. <clears throat> Cute little garage. Oh. I always forget it's in the middle. <laughs> no! Damn, that was close. Need to cut more trees. Alright, well, believe it or not, we've been streaming for, um... One hour and 45 minutes now. So, I think we should... Time. Yeah, I think we should start wrapping it up. Well, let me finish the day. Hey, it's gone really Rude. quick. Alright, I'll, I'll wait for you to finish the day. But it has gone very quick. But yeah, we'll start wrapping up. So if you guys have any <clears throat> questions you want to make sure you get asked. Um, now is the time. I do not have the energy for this. Oh, that was plenty of stone. We might need to pull back on the well, stone. Tone, tone a it down bit. a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little excessive. Persona 5's Haru? Yeah. Well, Persona 5 is where a lot of our. a lot of my ideas came from. So. Whenever I see people um, mm. mention that there's a hint of persona in the game where they feel like it feels like persona i just it's just i feel great i feel so flattered about about that comment because that was definitely um an inspiration oh thank you octopus says how how you also dang awesome <laughs> Aww. i appreciate you <laughs> I'm all red now, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide on the release date? Well, we I... didn't. I, yeah. That's... It wasn't us. I spoke a little bit about it nope. earlier, if you want to scroll back to it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much came down to... Um, came down to a chat with Merch, and... Yeah. Um, 
they gave us a few options and then we chose the one that we did but it was i think it was one that everybody was happy with we were yeah. extremely happy with it because as i said i we want to get this game to you guys' hands as soon as possible well, as soon as you know conceivably possible with polishes and bug fixes and implemented and we think oh, may you guys want to see is definitely the date. something really cute <coughs> Oh yeah, you're showing the what are they called? Short walls or something? You should do a deposit um, from a deposit, auto deposit. Oh, I always forget. We need to have those like auto click. Auto auto turn on, yeah, true. I don't even think. I don't it's think I have any sticks in my inventory. Oh yeah, maybe not. Oh no, I do. Oh no, it's in my it's not in my cache, it's in my um uh... But it's nine days after Josh's birthday, we can just pretend it's that. Well, re release date. Yeah, we can just say it's <laughs> for Josh's birthday. <laughs> I will actually say uh, I have to give credit where credit is due. Um, full well, let me ask the questions. Was... Always amazed you guys uh, went on full release routes. It's very admirable yeah. and gave my respect. Yeah. Wasn't us. Yeah. That was all our publisher. That was their decision. Um, we actually fought them on it. And looking back, I, I think it was the right decision. They pushed us to do a full release rather than early access yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, we I think we do early access. You know, again, like you said, looking back on it, I think if we did early cute. access, we would have gone too preoccupied with yeah. just fixing the little things or polishing the little things yeah. without actually finishing the full game. I know I Does the cash that. work? Yes. Yes. The cash definitely works. I'm just dumb and I don't put stuff in it enough. But I'm now obsessed with these cute little garden barriers, so I'm gonna take <laughs> where'd they go? <laughs> Look how cute! Oh, it's so cute. That's a cute photo. I also like that the little like you need the oh, water they don't and stay. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they disappear. It's really nice. The little fences are adorable. I love them. Yeah, they're very easy to make. You can make them into demo. Just go buy them from Philip, and they're super easy. You just need sticks for them. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Seriously, all I can say uh, is that you made my dream think... game, and can see the love you put into it. Well done. Thank you. Thank oh, you thanks. so much. Yeah. Um, it was definitely like it started for like my love letter to the farming game genre and then everyone's really love letter to the genre but everybody in the team had different things they wanted to add to the genre so we just kind of collectively put in um put in the things that we wanted to have in a game like this we're not going to yukio's house it's weird <laughs> should really fix that huh <laughs> yeah you really should let's hang out with Gabe. why it's does game your back arrow not work sometimes doesn't sometimes yeah um, who do we want to hang out with? First name I see in the chat is who I'm going to go on and hang out with. Aw, you guys are being way too nice today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out of here! Thank <laughs> you so much for the as well. I'm waiting for somebody to give me a name for somebody to go on and hang out with. I'm so proud to have back the guys at the beginning. You definitely have delivered amazingly so far. And I'm just so excited for the 40s of the game to come out. Uh, thank you so much for that because um, uh, that was the one thing doing the Kickstarter. I was terrified at the yeah. time doing a Kickstarter and not delivering enough because when our game was up, I mean, it still happens. Oh, Hina, nice. It still happens where a lot of scam games come around. Maybe there's less of it nowadays because more moderation on Kickstarter. But I remember when our game went up, games like, um, what was that game? Um, Dream World and stuff like that was going around too. Yeah. And, um, Chronicles of Valeria and all that. Um, so yeah. I was terrified of that as well. So I wanted to make sure that we deliver enough. So hearing that is great. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, you got the good song. That's my favorite song. <laughs> Ina's gonna be so critical We're getting noodles, of the noodles. Of course. No, she's not. It's gonna be like that's not how I used no, to make. No, that she's not that kind of a chef. 
<laughs> I wrote her as a good chef. As a good Thank chef. Oh, aren't you glad auto advances a thing? Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit. We should wrap this up to who should we hang out with. It's Sydney. So I was gonna wrap it up like ten minutes ago. <laughs> I gotta finish the day. That's well. I usually go on all my hangouts at night. I feel like run out of things to do. It's like, all right, let's hang out with people. Ina is a very interesting character though, because yeah, she is Sebastian's mom and all that, and she's got a very interesting history as well. Like you could make a whole game from her backstory, really. Yeah. Let's give her a flower. Nice. I don't remember what her favorite flower is. Hmm. Apparently she liked that one though. And then the banger that is Higashi's theme comes out at the end. You're welcome. It's almost like I planned this. Oh, I needed coffee. Got. I need a coffee IRL. Oh, I found the 13 cent one. <laughs> oh, is it? oh yeah, that's a cheap one, huh? It's a it's not it was typed in wrong. Is it supposed to be 130? Yeah. Damn. Well don't tell him about the, <laughs> the exploits. I would love to play on Steam Deck for build, for building if it feels easier on PC. Yeah, true, true. I do hope that the game takes over your lives in the best way possible. I really do. Just the I same way that I movie. hope you all cry in the best way possible. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly <laughs> hoping for a lot of tears. I really am. <laughs> yeah, it's such a weird thing to say, but it's 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 every creative's dream is to yeah, emotionally impact really you. Want. I really want the tears. I think this is Go to Debonair, yeah. try some clothes out. No, I want to go to the movies. Alright, I guess we're going to the movies. I want to take Gabe to the movies, okay? Alright, alright. What, what kind of movie are you going to watch? I don't know. Let's see if we can get him to watch a romance with us. Uh, you may have answered this, but the soundtrack will be available. Yes. So it's going to oh, be on yeah. all of your streaming oh, platforms, no such as Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Um, I think Gabe would like an action movie. Pandora, yeah. Um, and uh, it will also come out on CD for people who did back us on Kickstarter. Oh, this looks weird. But that? that's about it. <laughs> I love Sparky sitting in the movie He's theater. He's just watching his movies. Gabe looks funny. Chit chat. Thank you, Cloud. Really appreciate Gabe. it. Oh, he liked my action movie. Oh, there you go. That's success. Let's, uh... Do we want to confess to Gabe? Yes. Of course. Is that even a question? <laughs> <coughs> it might reject you. I don't know if you're high enough. In uh, yeah, I, I think I am high enough right now. He likes stood up very straight. Oh, oh no. no! Right, so here's just friends for oh, now. You skipped it. I was gonna, I was gonna say something. I, it was your auto that, thing. It's not my uh, fault. That is a dialogue you get if uh, Gabe is romanceable with your gender expression, but isn't hasn't got enough friendship points. So I know a lot of people got stressed over it, but it's very, very clear on what's the problem. So. Also, yes. all of these, all of these stuff here, they're gonna be ten times more expensive once yeah. I fix the. Dang it! Oh, you don't <laughs> have enough space. Crane Daddy. <laughs> I thought that was Yuma. Mm. Guys, are tear up in the opening music. Oh, thank you. All shout out to Matt Jellyfox music. He's incredible. We're so lucky to have him as a composer. I essentially went to matt and i said hey look i need a soundtrack that is inspired by city pop persona 5 soundtrack persona 4 and 3 soundtrack and also this other music uh, and then he 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 did 
create a few tracks that were just literally on point and then we've kind of figured out the sound after that the sound font as i like to call it which are like the instruments that we mostly use which is like electric piano saxophone um and then uh, a few other tracks um sydney also chimed in for the ideas of the inspirations of what it's going to be and then yeah we ended up with this amazing soundtrack that we have also a lot of japanese hip-hop inspired our soundtrack higashi's main theme is inspired by a very specific song called um summer situation you want to check that out yourself not everybody's cup of tea but i like japanese hip-hop i'm buying summer clothes and yeah city pop was a huge inspiration for the soundtrack the town soundtrack the night version has the same chord progression as plastic love by maria takeuchi I could nerd out about music all day. You guys have no idea. Myself. There's nerdiness <laughs> about music. Alright. We got enough clothes. Still home, Sparky. We're gonna do the shortcut of getting home. Let's, uh... <laughs> yeah, He's gonna ask me to hang out for... Days, and <laughs> I'm gonna I'm saying, uh, Gabe, you know I like you, but that weird mechanical cat head thing is freaking me out. <laughs> he does give. If you played near, he loves Sparky. If you played near, near Automata especially, he does give um, Emil vibes, doesn't he? It's just a floating. Wait, head. who? Emil, the head that just rolls oh. around in Automata. Oh, Xander. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't see you who you, who you chose. Let's go fishing. Ah, I'm glad to hear that, Rune. <laughs> I do love Xander. I can't help it. He's my favorite. Retail therapy is important, true. Let's confess to Xander. Bottom. Yes! Oh, there, there you go. And the music changes. I got him. That's the that's the confession. The, the I like you soundtrack. Got him. So He'll that's not mine. the extent of it, by the way. Now dates are unlocked. So after this, you can go on dates, and there are fa five date scenes per character. Dang Some it, more than others, actually. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to change my outfit before we close off. You're really extending this day, aren't you? It's it's <laughs> only 7.45. It's not my fault. It's 8. It's kind of my fault because I... Here, the... IRL. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. No. Look how pretty my farm is, though. Yeah, it's very nice. It's coming together really cute. And my, like, lone dresser over here. You... Well, no, that's kind of part of the job, job I didn't, description, I, isn't it? I, I, Why is that yeah, kind of black bar me. at the top? I don't know. Well, I guess that's something problem. for me to investigate. Alright, we gotta lose the jacket. Shorts do I like. I always look at the butt, because that's what I have to stare at for the whole game. <laughs> Understandable. I'm gonna need your save file off this to actually inspect this. Inspect okay. wardrobe weirdness on sydney's save there you go my i apologize my for my keyboard's loudness um still sydney could have adjusted it ken i don't know did you adjust your day progression speed i did there you go that is a new thing that's coming by the way to the demo do not worry i'm gonna go with black no! <clears throat> Tom's. No worries, Pat. Hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye, Pat! That oh. is very true, Atapoa. It's a, uh, they saying, isn't it true for all farming games? So just one more day, yeah. Just one more day. I'm trying to pick my summertime outfit for you guys. You know what would have been so cool to implement? Hmm. An outfit sort of selection. 
Actually, yeah, we've had a couple people ask us for that. So you can predefine like five outfits and switch between them quickly. Yeah, yeah that'd be a pretty cool idea. Oh, do I not have any accessories? So I don't have to go to the wardrobe every not. time. <clears throat> I think that's good. Yeah. That's a cute summer outfit. I like that it. It's a cute summer outfit. And I gotta change my hair, but we'll we'll do. <laughs> Cause Rainy's getting grumpy. Well. It's just getting late. All right. All right. I Save. shall switch over to the face cam. And I'm going to mute that. Well, um, there we go. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us with this one. This was definitely just more of a chill, kind of laid back stream. And that's how we kind of planned it to go anyway. Uh, we thought Sydney would just play and we'll just kind of go through questions and kind of have a chat with everybody. Um, again, there's not much major development left on the game. There's some areas that we need to polish. There are bugs that we need to fix. Uh, and there are some small features that we still need to add. Uh, but that's really about it. We got some exciting stuff that are coming up, such as the update to the demo. Look out, look out for it this month. Uh, Sparky Plushie is up now and it got exactly um, 19 days left on it um we need to hit 200 orders uh, otherwise it won't get manufactured we've got 22 currently sold so um if you'd like one one of those plushies sydney's holding uh please check out the link that sydney just posted in the chat get yourself one or send it to a uh, fellow farming slash rpg slash life sim uh aficionado that might like it oh. and appreciate it <laughs> oh yeah at the bottom you can see his charging port thing it's really funny yeah they did such a good and job. And then you can also see the, the thing in the back. Oh, yeah, his, like, the detail. His tail goes up and down on in this little thingy. It's so cute. Very detailed. He's adorable. But uh, I found out we probably, if we had asked, we probably could have made his eyes glow in the dark. Oh, And I'm damn. very upset we didn't that do been, that. That would have been very cool. But now we know that it's a thing. Now we know. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just also wanted to say, if you aren't on our Discord server, please do join. It's a, it's a fun little community that we have right down here, discord.gg slash sunnyside. And if you are a content creator and you are going to create any form of content on Sunnyside or going to stream it or Let anything like know. that, you are more than welcome to drop a link in the server in yes, the yeah in the Sunnyside uh, channel. Uh, the we share love coming and watching. stuff yeah because we'll come watch the community will come and watch and you get a few more viewers of people who are excited about the game um but thank you so much for spending your sunday with us it was a, it's a really fun time to hang out with everybody oh that's cute that's a cute little poll do we need to mention anything else before we close no I don't i'm just reading so. the chat and making sure uh thank you so much Arthur. it was it was great to um ask your questions and just have a discussion as well they would do appreciate it uh there will be more of these that we'll do but uh we were talking earlier i that... like oh, i was just gonna say i like these streams because i don't actually have to work as hard anymore i get to no play. it's you just a chill little work. nice time um and we were talking about it next month stream because we've been having them monthly it's probably gonna be a release date stream actually thinking about it we might do a little countdown That'll be pretty exciting. Just have everybody with us when we when the game goes live on Steam and we do a countdown for it. <laughs> it's, it's so cute. But thank you, everybody. Excited. We'll see you on Discord. And uh, thank you for hanging out with us and listening to us. We'll see you around. Bye, everybody. Have a good Sunday.